Hello children, how are you? I hope that everybody is staying at home fine and safe. This is your Sarvagya Madam and I am back with another new lesson. So children, we have learned already three lessons. Okay, and now let us start with our lesson four. What is the lesson name children? Water. W-A-T-E-R. Water. So children, what is water? So when we are asking about what is water, we have different things to say, right? Water is used for drinking. Water is used by the plants to do the process of photosynthesis. Water is available in different sources like ponds, lakes, seas, oceans. Yes, children. Okay. And also, water comes to the ground from the sky in the form of rain. And also, if you dig the soil deep into the earth, we find ground water. So, children, here one point we have to know is the, the earth is completely surrounded by different sources of water. And do you know, children? Three by fourth part of the earth's surface is completely filled with water it could be any source but if you take the earth into four parts three parts of the earth surface is completely filled with water so children in this lesson let us learn more about water and how we have to conserve water because water is very precious okay so now let us go into the lesson so, in what way water is used for us in the daily life? So, children, we drink water, we use water for cooking, washing clothes, cleaning the utensils. Yes, children, we use water in different areas like industry. Yes, so all these depend on water directly or indirectly okay children even the plants and animals cannot survive without water so water plays an important role in the life of all the living things so children now i have a question for you is water available in all the parts of the earth is water available in all the parts of the earth? The answer will be yes. But the percentage of water that we find in different places is different. The percentage of water that we find in different places is different. Okay. And my another question. Is all the water available on the earth? is used by the living things no is all the water which is available on the surface of the earth is completely used by the living things no why because we living things like human beings or animals or plants will take only fresh water the animals like sea creatures they live only in the salt waters like seas and oceans. Okay, children. So, based upon the priority, the living things are using fresh water and also salt water. And we were always talking about how we are present. So, children, let us go into the lesson to learn more things about water. Okay. Uh, listen to me very carefully. I'm reading a paragraph from your textbook, page number 32. Okay, please, if you are having textbook, please do follow it. If you don't have, after listening to the video, please want to go to the textbook part. Okay, children. Hi, friends. I am Sujata from Akalareddipalli of Kadapa district. The woman in the picture is my mother. She carries drinking water from for us from the stream 
which is away far from our village. It is very difficult to walk all the way by carrying the water pots. For us, sorry, it takes lot of time but it is very essential for us as we can't do anything without water. So, we use water preciously. So, children, here he has given you a story of Miss Sujata who is living in Kadapa district, Akkaredrapalli. Okay. So, what is her problem? Actually, you, if you see in the textbook, you can see a woman carrying a water pot. So, they are carrying the water from a far away distance. Okay, they are carrying the water in a stream which is very far away from their village. It is waste of time. She is saying that it is waste of time for her mother to go to the far off place to bring, uh, to bring the water. And also she is saying that it is very essential for them. Yes children, water plays a very essential or a key role in one's life. See. All the activities from the morning till the night, whatever we do, is uh, ultimately depending upon the water. Early morning as you get up, you go to the washroom. So you need some water. And you brush your teeth, you have to use some water. And also, you have to take a bath if you wanted to go out. So definitely, you are using water. If you want to wash your clothes, water. If you want to cook or clean the utensils, you need water. And if you are very thirsty, definitely you need the water for drinking. So children, water is very essential for us in our daily life or daily routine. But this lady, Ms. Sujata, she is saying that water is not plentifully available in their village. So what is the reason? There might be many reasons. So if we go forward, then we can know what are the main reasons behind this story. What do you think after listening to Sujata's story? After listening to Sujata's story, definitely we learn that there is something happening in their village. Because of that, they could not get water in plenty. Children, pillalo, manaki, manam, manamunde, prayers at law, manaki plenty of water dursundi. Ekrata dursundi, maninti intiki, tap connections unne. Auna, or we have a motor at our own home. And also, we have a well in the village or a city, right? So, the municipality department is arranging water for each and every house through the municipal taps. Yes, children, or by Sending the water tankers. So we are not having any problem for getting the water. But there are few villages children where the water scarcity is more. So they don't even find water in daily usage. Okay. For what purposes do we need water? As I say, I'm sorry, as I said earlier, for all purposes we need water. Drinking, washing, uh, bathing, cleaning. Yes, children. Even in the villages, if you see, they they will clean the buffaloes and cows with the water. Yes, children. Even the animals and plants also need drinking water. Where do we get water from? So, children, first of all, things. Where do we get water from? Is it necessary to take care of water resources? So, let us learn all these answers from the textbook. Okay. Okay, children. Now, let us do an activity of water. So, as I said that, water is used in our daily life. So, without water, we cannot survive. So, what are the things that we use? Uh, sorry, what are the things that we do with water? Drinking, washing, bathing, cooking, cleaning and so on. Okay. So all these activities comes under domestic use. All these activities comes under domestic use. Apart from domestic use, what else we use? What else in which area we use? 
we plant tree yes children and if we are having any pets at our home we also feed them with water right so planting trees and in agriculture so children agriculture means growing the different kinds of crop also require water chaala saarlu ee pantalu pandavu enduku pandavu anante because of lack of water so planting trees and in agricultural sector also we are using water okay do you know children human body uses water to regulate its temperature and maintain other bodily functions we tell the children our human body is also completely filled with water around 70% of the human body is filled with water mana body lo ne water undi enta 70% so in which way this water is used this water is used for maintaining the temperature regulate the temp regulate and maintain the temperature and other bodily functions on average per day a human body requires 2 to 3 liters of water so how much water is required by our human body children 2 to 3 liters of water and in what way this water is used it is used for digestion removal of toxins from the body so whatever food we are eating it has to be digested for the digestion process definitely water plays an important role not only for the process of digestion but also it removes the excess waste mana body lo unna waste materials ni bite ki push out cheyadaniki kuda water is very useful okay and saying that water is used by us for our daily activities but have you ever thought that how much of water we are using per day how much of water we are using per day and what is the measurement of water meer water ni ela kolustaru enta water enta amount of water meer use chestunaru okay so to know that we have to learn about the volume of water we know that children in our earlier classes we have learned that water occupies the volume of the object in which it is kept avuna kada bucket la ese bucket of water an chaptam if we take in a mug a mug of water if we take a glass a glass of water right but in a standard uh, unit the water is measured in the form of liters what it is children the water is the basic specific measurement of water is units is liters so if we have a glass of water iskunam dantlo enta water unnadi ante we can't say how much water we will just say that it is a glass of water but if we measure it on a measure in weighing machine then only we can say how many liters of water it is carrying okay so for example if you see if you want to buy a cool drink if you wanted to buy a cool drink bottle so those are available in the form of liters 1 liter water bottle or a 10 liters water bottle or 1 liter drink bottle 2 liter drink bottle or 1.5 liter drink bottle yes so there we are using the standard measurement of the liquid or the water that we are taking or drinking okay so now children all the daily activities need water but how many liters of water so children now let us do the activity number 2 so that we can measure how many liters of water are used by us in our daily life okay okay so in the activity 2 i'll ask you few questions children so try to find out the answer for them so the first one how many liters of water how many liters of water a person use daily a person uses daily so children 
For doing this one, what you have to do is take a one liter water bottle and try to measure the condition. Okay, how many liters of water a person uses daily? So do the, for doing this activity, children, I, I will say you, like take a one liter water bottle and try to find out from the morning till the evening, how many liters of water you are using. See, just to fill up the one liter water bottle and uh, while you do for the brushing or bathing. So how, then you will have an estimation of how much water are you using daily. So children think if one person minimal usage, if we get the answer for minimal usage of one person, we can calculate the usage of a family and also we can calculate the usage of the uh, people who are living in the village okay so try at least try to uh, try to do this activity at your home and uh, find out how much of water are you people using daily if it is okay you can do it otherwise you can keep it off okay children now up to now we are talking about in what way the water is useful for us yes children and now my question is from where do we get water so we will also discuss the different sources of water then we move we can move further into our lesson okay children okay now my question is from where do we get water think children from where do we get water so let us first see about the villages why because villages contain more water sources here in the uh, towns or cities we are living in a concrete jungle where most of the space is used for buildings and construction so there is no place available to find out more amount of water resources but if you go to the villages children we can see different sources of water so let us see we can see wells tells color wells and canals panta polala pakka nunchi velta unte chaala saarlu canals velta unde okay tanks huge water tanks have been dug up in the soil or also huge uh, water tanks are built up near the agricultural sectors ponds chinna chinna vi tarvata rivers etc these are the main sources of water especially in the villages okay wells canals tanks ponds and rivers uh, so children if you if your grandparents live in a village so definitely i think you have seen all these sources okay and coming to the towns what are the sources of water that we can see in the towns mostly municipal taps municipal taps bore wells and underground wells which are takkunde mostly the municipal taps are available in the towns and also the bore wells ante prathi intlo oka bore well untundi vaalu underground water ni pump up cheskodaniki okay children and also do you know children water is available not only in these sources apart from this we also know seas and oceans okay we also know seas and oceans where we can find plenty of water okay and not only these sources you know children the fruits and vegetables also act as a source of water if you see in the summer season what kind of fruit we eat more watermelons right if you eat the watermelons you can find the juicy thing which is present in it yes children okay and also if you see the vegetables like cucumber keera dosa kaya chusara or dosa kaya lapte potla kaya eva beera kaya if you squeeze those vegetables you can find water coming out of them so children apart from the natural sources like these in the fruits and vegetables also we are finding plenty of water not plenty like a minimal amount of water and children why we are eating this watermelon especially during the summer season just because of the water only why because the water which is present in the watermelon can quench your thirst 
బాగా ఎండగా ఉండడం వల్ల మీకు వచ్చే దాహాన్ని తీర్చడానికి వాటర్మిలన్ తిన్నాం అనుకో ద వాటర్ ప్రజెంట్ విచ్ ఇస్ వాటర్ కంటెంట్ విచ్ ఇస్ దేర్ ఇన్ ద వాటర్మిలాన్ క్యాన్ క్వెంచ్ యువర్ థర్స్ట్ మీ దాహాన్ని తీర్చడానికి ఉపయోగపడుతుంది ఓకే చిల్డ్రన్ ఓకే సో ఆర్ యాక్టివిటీ త్రీ ఈజ్ హౌ ఈజ్ వెల్ డన్ అసలు వెల్ ని చూసారా చూసారా వెల్ ఎలా ఉంటుందో ఓకే సో ఇప్పటికి కొంతమంది ఇళ్లలో వీ కెన్ ఫైండ్ దిస్ వెల్స్ ఇవి దొరుకు ఇవి ఉంటా ఉంటాయి ఓకే ఈవెన్ ఇన్ దిస్ వెల్స్ ఓన్లీ నౌ ద హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఫిట్టెడ్ ద మోటర్స్ సో దట్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ద వాటర్ కెన్ గో టు ద వాటర్ ట్యాంక్ కానీ మై క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ హౌ హార్డ్ ఈస్ డిగ్గింగ్ ద వెల్ అంత ఈజీయా అసలు వెల్ వాటర్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి వస్తాయి ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ ద వాటర్ కమ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఈ కమ్ ఇన్ టు ద వెల్ ఎస్ So children, deep inside the earth, we are having the source of water. That water is called as ground water. What it is children? We have ground water. Ground water. When a well is dug, if a well is dug, if a well is dug, if a well is dug, see in the villages, a group of people will see a nice place where the water sources are available. and they will dig the well but it is not a very easy process children here the workmanship of the people pays off okay chaala mandi manushulu ekku time ekku time ni teesukodan sorry ekku time teesukoni tavvali okay so when they are digging deep into the earth so after reaching a certain level into the ground the water which is present in the ground will comes up into that well so here the dugging of the well is uh, used for the source of underground water and now children in our cities we are having apartments or individual houses so what the people are doing is they are digging up the bore wells ante evari intlo valiki upayoginchukonedattu bore well ni dug chestunnaru okay here the well see if meer well ni chuste ela untundante itla untundi అంటే ఇది అంత లోపల వాటర్ ఉంటుంది మనం ఇక్కడ యూజ్ చేసుకోవడానికి ఇక్కడ తడతారు అవునా కాదా ఎస్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యూ డిగ్ అప్ బోర్ వెల్ సో దే విల్ పుట్ ద పైప్స్ డీప్ ఇన్ టు ద గ్రౌండ్ అండ్ దే విల్ బ్రింగ్ ద వాటర్ అప్ బై యూజింగ్ ఎ పంప్ ఇది బోర్ వెల్ ఇది మామూలు వెల్ నుయ్య ఓకే సో ఇది నుయ్ అంటారు ఇది బోర్ వెల్ అంటారు సో హియర్ ద ఔటర్ ప్లేస్ ఇస్ ఓపెన్ ఫర్ అస్ సో దాట్ వీ కెన్ పుల్ ద వాటర్ అవుట్ బట్ హియర్ చూడండి లార్జ్ పైప్స్ ఆర్ బీన్ సెంట్ ఇన్ టు ద గ్రౌండ్ అండ్ బై యూజింగ్ ద బై యూజింగ్ ద మోటర్స్ ఆర్ పంప్స్ ద వాటర్ లెవెల్ విచ్ ఇస్ దేర్ ఇన్ ద గ్రౌండ్ ఆర్ బీన్ పుల్డ్ అప్ in both the process if you observe both require some energy ikkada manushulu petti tavistharu ikkada general ga machines use chesi tavistharu meer chuste bore well lorry vastundi pedda lorry vastundi which is having more amount of pipes in it adi pressure ga underground lo kantu goye tavi pipes ni fit chesi paina motor anedi fit chestaru so that when you switch on the motor the water comes out but here you have to use a pulley and pull the water out this kind of water resource is found mostly in the villages and this kind of water resource is found in the cities and towns okay it is a very easy and time saving procedure here we need to idi ur mathalo undu chivarki ekkada untundi akkadiki vellali neel thodu koni teeskon raavali it is a little harder process see children if any of these two process if you have observed them try to remember the steps which they are using and how they are bringing the ground level of water for the daily usage okay water on the earth so children as i have already said that there are different sources of water on the earth there are different sources of water on the earth So what are the different sources of water that we generally see? Puddles, ponds, lakes, rivers, seas and ocean. Yes children? Okay. So as I already said, 
3/4 surface of the water is covered by water 3/4 surface of earth is covered by water that all the sources of water is used for our daily activities ikkada unna prathi water ni kuda manam daily activities use chestama see the water available in the rivers ponds or in the bore wells or wells is tasty or sweet in nature so we are drinking such water or using those waters for different purposes okay so such water is called as fresh water so children rain water is a fresh water source ponds lakes rivers all these are fresh water sources so we can drink those water or we can use it for cooking or for drinking or washing the different uh, sorry washing clothes and using for different other activities but can you drink sea water children can you no why because the sea water contains more amount of salt which is not used for our daily activities either for drinking of water or for washing or putting the water for the agricultural use is also not been done by the sea water or the ocean water why because the water contain high salinity or salt content which is unfit for our daily activities okay i said that there are many sources of water on the surface of the earth and also 3/4 surface of water 3/4 uh, surface of the earth is completely filled with water and children do you know out of that 3/4 of water as i said that the earth surface is covered by 3/4 of water okay so there are many sources of water on the earth but do you know children only 3% of water on the earth surface is considered as fresh water remaining water is not at all used for our daily activities mana mottham prapancha nantanni tisukuna mottham bhoomi nantanni tisukunte dani medina 3/4 of water lo 3% of water maatrame fresh water మిగిలిన వాటర్ అంతా కూడా మన ఎవ్వరికి కూడా యూజ్ అయ్యే వాటర్ కానే కాదు ఓకే సో చిల్డ్రన్ ఫర్ లెర్నింగ్ అబౌట్ దిస్ త్రీ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ దట్ ఇస్ ప్రజెంట్ ఆన్ ద ఇయర్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డూ అన్ యాక్టివిటీ సో దాట్ వీ కెన్ క్లియర్లీ అండర్స్టాండ్ అబౌట్ దట్ ఓకే సో దట్ ఆల్ ఫర్ దిస్ వీడియో చిల్డ్రన్ వీ విల్ మీట్ ఇన్ ద అదర్స్ వీడియోస్ వెరీ సూన్ బిఫోర్ ఐ ఎండ్ దిస్ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆల్ ద చిల్డ్రన్ టు రీడ్ ద టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ పార్ట్ textbook reading is very important as it gives you extra knowledge so children take care stay home stay safe thank you